and I'm your sewing teacher and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about pouches. Now everybody is always looking for a really quick gift to give to someone or really quick project. That project today is the 10 minute pouch. Best thing about this pouch is that it doesn't need to have any kind of interior seams. We're gonna make this so that all of the seams are exposed. I'm gonna tell you how to make it professionally done so that it looks like it's something that you purchased. One is lined and one is unlined. Stay tuned while we do a sew along. This pouch can be found on the Sew Sweetness blog. I will link that in the description below. If this is the kind of content that you like, please give us a thumbs up and give us a comment below. What is your favorite 10 minute project? So I'm very excited to use this vinyl. I love the gold and the multiple colors. When you look at the vinyl, I have it cut out with the pattern that was provided by So Sweetness. And the vinyl has a woven back with a little bit of fuzz, so it doesn't need to be interfaced. All I had to do next was find which zipper I liked the most. It had to be a seven inch zipper. I wanted to, to fit so I didn't have to worry about cutting through the metal. Metals, but it is a seven inch that you're looking for. These are number five zippers. That gives you a wider zipper tape to work with. Now you'll see the edges. The edges won't be kept, the edges will be raw and they won't be kept white. Want to make sure that they blend really well. So there are a couple ways this can be done. So I took out my sh Sharpies and I found all of the colors that are in this pouch. I also then took the zipper that I wanted and made sure that it blended with that as well. So it had to match really nicely. Now before I sew anything, I'm going to do the edges in Sharpie. First I'll do the part around the zipper I put away my Sharpie and decided that I'm going to do the outer edge after I sew it together. So now I'm using quarter of an inch double sided tape down on the vinyl so that I can lay my zipper down and have no issues whatsoever with movement. This is one of my favorite ways to do the zipper, but you want to make sure that it's not too close to the edge so that when you sew it together, you can see the double-sided tape when you go to open your pouch. So the next thing you're going to do is make sure that you choose a contrasting thread or thread that blends and that you're going to sew all the way around the zipper and then all the way around the pouch. Moving on to the next step, we are now sewn up and I just take my scissors and go all the way around the exposed edge and make sure the seam allowance is even all the way around the pouch. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my nail file from the dollar store. It's one of those handy hacks. If you haven't seen my $15 store items for $45, I'll put it in the cards now. But all you're going to do is sand down all of the edges so that they are nice and smooth. That's the best nail file. It has all sorts of different files for your sanding needs. I spoke earlier about the options for the edge paint and there is an actual edge paint that you can purchase but for now the sharpie helps make this a super quick project if we were to use the edge paint it would take a lot longer as you have to do multiple layers and it needs to dry in the future i will do a project and show you how the edge paint works but for now we're going to use our good old sharpie and we're going to have that edge blend in beautifully and no one will know any and once that edge is finished that is our finished pouch it is unlined very quick 10 minute pouch ready for gift giving or for sales next we're moving on to our next pouch it is the same pouch but we're going to put a lining in it this time so I took the regular pattern from the So Sweetness site and I cut out my lining to be the size of the pattern. Once that's all cut out, I know that I need to make a little bit bigger cut on the vinyl. So I figured it out that I could use my vinyl sheet as a template and just get my corners rounded off 
and I can make it a little bit bigger than the actual lining itself. Once that's done and I check the fit, I take out my scissors and I cut all of my corners off. I cut open my zipper opening and then I get out my double-sided tape again. The double-sided tape is going to keep down the lining as I sew to make sure that it gets caught in the seam allowances. This is one of the things that makes this pattern so quick even if you're doing a lining. Now at this point I would I should have put the zipper in between the lining and the vinyl. This would have prevented the zipper tape from being seen when you open up the pouch later. And so what I did was I put the zipper on the inside of the pouch. Make sure you trim your edges. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sew all the way around and I'm going to sew around the zipper as well. Now that the pouch has been sewn, we're going to trim up that seam allowance again. And while we're there, we're going to trim all of our loose threads. We want to make sure that the seam allowance is consistent all the way around. Once it's all trimmed up, clean up my table a little bit. I'm going to open it up, make sure it's all okay. And you'll see when it was open that you could see that tape. That's why I suggested sandwiching it between the lining and the vinyl. Again, we're trimming up all of our threads. And then we're going to use our handy dandy six in one nail file to file it down nice and smooth. Again, because we have a lining here, we will have a little bit of material perhaps popping through. We have decided that this is going to be a super fast pouch again. So we're not doing the edge paint. We are doing a straight Sharpie and the Sharpie will make this edge look nice and professional. If you're looking for an expensive higher end look, that edge paint will do that for you. As we finish up the Sharpie on the edge of the pouch, we are going to do one last look over the pouch, make sure everything is good. Open it up and put it with the other one. Take a look. Everything looks good and we're so happy with the result. Thank you to Sew Sweetness for this great free pattern. Thanks for joining us today. This has been a great tutorial on how to make the 10 minute pouch. Always good for gifts, always good for everything we have in our house. Can never have enough pouches. Thanks for joining us today on the sewing journey. Sometimes it's my students, sometimes it's my children, sometimes it's my sewing journey, but it's always your sewing journey. We'll talk to you next week. Have a great one.